I've given up at this point. You were close. You were... You were close. GG's? Hey, man. I, that turn one wake was stupid. Also, I should have just switched. So, should have switched to Mungus through her Shifu. I didn't know, I didn't know you'd die to the Zen, though. I had no idea you'd go down to that. Remember when you were winning regionals? No. That was a long time ago. You got to rank 5 with Me Metagross and Salamence. Look, we're getting higher than rank 5. Okay, we're playing Andrew! Is this Ding? Is Andrew Ding? Oh, God. He's got an Aerodactyl. This man made it to Master Ball at, like, 7-2 with an Aerodactyl. <laughs> That's terrifying. I, I'm not going to lie. That's actually very very spooky. I'm going to go Mence or Shifu. Mence or Shifu is really good. What about Amoongus, I guess? No. We want Mence or Shifu in the back. The only sucky thing... Things Valentine? Okay. I guess we go... Immense meta? I want to make the Rotom Gone play again, but I don't know if they're going to give it to me. Seen that team on Showdown? I have not seen this. Mence, Metagross, Amoongus, or Shifu. I've got the pivot for Mence. I've got the pivot for Metagross. The late game water move. I should have everything I need here. The only bad lead would be Aerodactyl or Shifu. And that's why I was iffy about leading my or Shifu, because I don't want to get Airstreamed like that, because uh, it's almost certainly a Life Orb Aerodactyl. This reminds me of that Zerkatry team. Anybody, any 2017 players who remember the Mega Aerodactyl uh, Zerkatry team? That was a team. 1 a.m. stream? Hey, listen, number one doesn't stop for nothing, dude. Number one does not rest. I may be number 13, but I don't rest either. So. So there's going to be a Wicked Blow, most likely. Can you get David to play on stream with you? He lives like an hour away now. So like maybe, but probably not. Unfortunately. I'm going to do wing beat. Zerk Arrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I'm talking about like Zerk Arrow... Zerk, Arrow, Incinfini, Cartana, Fer Feral Thorn was in there somewhere? Maybe it wasn't Cartana, but there's like a Feral Thorn in there. That, that's what I'm talking about. I don't remember a... I don't remember a Clef or a Lele. Maybe Feromosa was there too. Hopefully they Wicked Blow my dark, my Fighting type. That'd be cool. If they Wicked Blow my Ments, we're Big Sad. We stay Big Sad. Okay, hits the Urshifu. Pretty cool. That looks... Banded. That is super banded. Please don't miss Salamence. I love you. Thanks, bro. Oh, it's 18, not 17? Oh, yeah, I'm talking about 17. I'm talking about 17. How could that be 17? What are you saying? Oh, it's 8. Oh, it was 18. My bad. My bad. Uh, the years mesh together. I'm old. If I jet, Rotom Heat's too good. If I jet and sack my Urshifu, Rotom Heat is too good. But if I don't jet, they get a wicked blow to my ments. I'm gonna jet. I'm gonna jet. I'm gonna wing beat the Whimscott. 17 was Dragonite Zerk. I loved Dragonite Zerk. That was some fun times. Aqua Jet, we need to take out that Urshifu. Um, he was 100% banded. That was literally 100% banded. And this Moonblast is probably going into Urshifu. Yeah. If Dual Wing Beat connects, which it's not known to, uh, we're gonna be pogging out. I hate that I just said that. Please, please forgive me. Ooh, I didn't know that too. It can't listen. If you were here yesterday, I'm used to that not KOing. <laughs> I'm really used to that not KOing because they were max HP, max defense, Whimsicott last time. That's that's where I come from. Now we go Metagross, and I think we should be in a good spot. Arrow's good right now, change my mind. I don't think you're wrong. I think rock, rock flying ground is pretty cool on Arrow. Maybe fire, maybe fire if you're getting frisky there. I don't know. It's gonna be like Feeny Cart. It's probably Feeny Cart. Feeny Arrow! Where are your Metagross answers? <laughs> Hello! 
That's pretty cool. No berries? Ah, it's okay. I didn't need them. Archaeops wheezing? Eh. I don't know about that one. I like that's fine. It's just I think Aerodactyl is more versatile. Unsubscribes for pogging out. Listen, I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna bulldoze. Bulldoze steel spike. Should just win this. I don't think you want Tailwind on Arrow. Like, Tailwind's a bad move on anything that's not priority now because of the dynamic speed. In my opinion, like you don't you don't really need it for anything. Regirock? Oh, I love some Regirock. Regirock's tasty. Got that curse. I didn't respect curse for a while, but curse makes a lot of sense. Getting it in a position and then like just rubbing it in their face instead of dynamaxing. It's pretty cool. Seismitoad sleeper pick. I like Seismitoad Rain. I think if you're gonna run rain, Seismitoad's better, because ground stab is more important than airstream. That's true, Caleb. Maybe it could be good on the faster ones. They max the Feeny. I have an Amoongus in the back. So, yeah. I'm cool with that. Well, the reason I say it's not good with dynamic speed is because if you lead into Whimsicott, then they just Tailwind, your, your Aerodactyl dies, and then no Tailwind for you. Sad. Unless you're Sash, but I don't think Sash is good. Sash Aerodactyl is pretty bad in my opinion. Shiny Regirock being made out of chocolate? I 100% I agree with that. That's like one of the main reasons to ever run it. Aerodactyl got Protect. Bro, you are dead through Protect. Let me be the first to tell you. So if my Mence dies to Starfall, Mence is a bad Pokemon and we can all write it off. I think I live though. Yes, we do. It's amazing. Click Fake Out. Don't run Fake Out Sa Don't run Fake Out Aerodactyl. What? I don't, I don't agree with that at all. We Bulldoze. Listen, we Bulldoze. And then like... I think Aerodactyl goes down through Protect. I would be I'd be kind of surprised if Aerodactyl did not get one hit KO'd right now through Protect. It could be Sash, but I, like I said, I feel like it's a Life Orb. And therefore, it will die. Aerodactyl's my Pokemon. Case closed. Best ability on Arrow, Rocket, Pressure, or Nerve. I think it depends. If you're trying to really be support, it's on Nerve. Um, otherwise, like maybe Rockhead, but you're, it's basically always on Nerve. Basically always on Nerve. Does it even get Head Smash? It doesn't get Head Smash, right? Or am I crazy? We're gonna Wing Beat. Wing Beat because we can. Oh, I'm faster! How am I faster than your Feeny in Tailwind, dude? That is so sad. Imagine being that slow on Feeny. They're probably gonna Geyser this turn, yeah. They need to Geyser because, like, they need to pray that this somehow takes out Metagross, but it won't, obviously. So, Feeny is gone. So, we're 8 and 2. I mean, we can only hope this puts us back to 5th, but putting us back to 5th is kind of ambitious. I'd, I'd settle for top 10. I really would. I, I would settle for top 10 at this point. And I'm someone's going to say, oh, but the battle's not over. Uh, but yeah, I don't lose this. I've got Amoongus in the back. Also, their tail one's gone. So, uh, they're just kind of slower now. I'll leave in Bulldoze, just because I can. Doesn't get Head Smash? Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. That's like the only reason to run Rockhead, really. It doesn't even get Brave Bird, like, there's just no reason. There really is just no reason to do that. Nate with the follow, thank you. Headbutt and Iron Head. I mean, I was, I was talking more so for, like, Recoil. Any recoiling with double edge? Go, go guys, go crazy. Run your double edge uh, aerodactyls. Yeah, we'll take take down double edge. Yeah, I, I still don't see a point. Take down and double edge. You're breaking the meta one snap at a time. Run both. Screw it. Run both. I dare you. I now know for Whack Wednesday, someone's going to build me an Aerodactyl team with Rockhead and Takedown and Double Edge. Oh, back to five! Hello! <laughs> Apparently, we're just back to five. Someone for Whack Wednesday is going to build a team <laughs> where it's just got Takedown and Double Edge. Who is this? Huh. 
Uh, can I learn Ally Switch? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, that's for that's for a flippo. I'm just saying that's the reason I was asking. But agility Regilecki team, I'm not looking forward to playing with that. You know the goal is to w go first under Trick Room somehow, but it's not gonna happen ever. I mean, it's taken a while to get up here. I'm pretty sure there were like 13 people in Master Ball. Everybody's gotta be pushing for number one. Half of them, half of. If not all of them need to be battling at the moment, most likely, so I'm not too surprised that we're not getting a battle this fast. Eight and two, though, I'll take it. I mean, this is good. You know, I, I prep. I, it feels good to actually prep for a stream, do some practice. I practiced for like three hours yesterday, and uh, now it's actually paying off, so it feels good. Every puzzle has an answer. I need to start being like tens. If you guys know Tens, the uh, the Valorant streamer, in between games, in between games while he's sitting in the queue, I put the drink on my phone. He plays. Gosh, dang it! I'm gonna keep going back to this casual ladder like it's not even funny. Uh, in between games, because his Valorant queue takes like 15 minutes sometimes to find a battle. He will play Osu between rounds. I really should start doing that. I really should. But then I feel like that loses viewers because I'm not talking about Pokemon. Because I'm not that good at multitasking. I'm not that good at multitasking. I can't really uh, I can't really talk and play Osu. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put Thwacky on the wall. Is that Daddy DeVito? Yes, sir. What if Wolf already had number one but didn't stream it? Nah, he would have streamed it. He'll do. He'll not stream like Players Cup and that's about it. Hold on. We're putting, we're putting Thwacky on the wall. I don't know where I put my command strips. I have no idea where my command strips went. Never mind. Pokemon Unite's not out yet, right? That's like that League of Legends game. That's not out yet, right? I didn't, I didn't somehow miss that. All right, there he is. I gotta get him out of the ring light. You can see him there. Oh goodness, there he is. Looks good to me. Couldn't be found, man. I hate it here. Want me to see people to see how bad I am at Pokemon and League at the same time? Yo, I respect that. I'm bad at I'm bad at League. I'm not bad at Pokemon though. What kind of disrespectful garbage is that? Somebody somebody wouldn't battle me, and then passed me. I stupid. Okay. Oh, hey, that's number five right there. Am I right? No, never mind. Fifteen. Okay. All right. Clops, Clops horse, uh, dual electric, or Shifu and Sin. Uh, there's no terrain control there, sir. You seem to be missing something crucial. It is a Feeny. Hello, Amoongus would like to know your location. Uh, let's see. You know what? I, you know the funny thing is, I realized Coco is actually a really good thunderous counter because if you think about it, thunderous has no moves to hit Coco. It's like it's a perfect resistance. Flying resists. Electric resists. Fighting resists. And helping hand Max Lightning actually Oko's thunders. Most most sometimes. So sometimes. That's what Joe did during Players Cup. Oh really? I had no idea. I know he ran Coco, but I'm I'm modest life orb, bro. Come on. I'm modest life orb. Hold on, I need a thing. Metagross Amoongus. Uh I want Coco. I really do. Urshi Coco. Urshi Coco. Yeah, looks good to me. Coco's very different. Yes it is, and proud of it. 
My Coco is special and offensive. Not that it wasn't special. I was saying special like uh, individual, unique, cool, shiny, very nice. Hey, you're modest now? Listen, after missing the KO, if you watch the YouTube or the stream live, you know. You just know. We don't know. We don't knock out Moltres if you're timid, so. We needed to knock out Moltres, and here we are. We knocked out Moltres. We knock out Moltres now. So sometimes, at least, I think. What reason do I have not those four? And Meteor Mash. They could max Reggie. Wouldn't that be crazy? If they max Reggie. Aerodactyl Partners, I was thinking something along the lines of Bisharp. I think what you do with Aerodactyl is you go Aerodactyl, Bisharp. Is that weird? Is that stupid? Maybe. They are! I knew I should have Mindstormed. I would have gone so Ooga Booga and Max Mindstorm there. I hate it here. Why are these number 15 Japanese players going stupid and crazy? I'm dead. That did used to be a thing. Uh, no, it used to be Cinderace, uh, Cinderace Bisharp. I don't think Bisharp Arrow was ever really a thing. In past formats, it was Blazing and Bisharp. Now it's Cinderace. And their life form! Uh. Is Aerodactyl good right now? I don't know, but it's what we're talking about. Coco. Coco's not a great switch in. I mean, I protect, right? Oh, but I want a max guard. I want a max guard, but I really don't want to waste a max turn. Because you know. You know for a fact. You know what I do? I think we taunt Clops and Rage Powder. Yeah, let's go over that. It was a thing in 2014. Nobody cares about 2014. I hated Yuri's Bisharp Cinderace team. Yeah, that was actually as bad as humanly possible. You thought it wasn't, you thought it wasn't. How did he know I wouldn't just like Rage Powder? Oh god. See, this is best of one garbage. I thought, hey, he's probably Screens, right? It's the classic Screens Regilecki. And, uh, Glacier. And if I'd have had open team sheet or a second game here, this dude would never ever beat me. But I'm a fool for playing in a best of one format. We do we do go for the taunt though. Um I think there's still a chance we win this. It's it's definitely not over. What we do is we 100 percent go for the max lightning into the clops. And then after that though, like I guess we rage powder. Just to keep it going. Maybe we max Starfall though. But I want the boost. I want the damage boost. So we're gonna max lightning clops. And we're going to Rage Powder. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Vicious Bat, that's all I got. I haven't thought about it. I wonder why you hated it. Yeah, great question. I don't know. Could be anything. Fourteen, sixteen are the only formats I know. Hey, that's fair, yeah. That's that's what I would... I didn't know you were around at 14, though. Did not know you were around at 14, though. Gotta be honest. Why is Bishop where you draw the line? That's a great question, honestly. That's a very great question. Rage Powder again... If they have Shadow Sneak, we cry. Why? For what? For whom? Whomst? Whomst? What? I don't think they have anything that wants to be Shadow Snuck on their team. Snucketh. I, d I don't get it. This battle just wasn't a... This was not a Pokey W. Okay, listen. This was not a Pokey W. It's not. It wasn't. It was Pokey L. Can we get some Pokey L's in the chat, please? Please. I'm, I'm begging. Literally begging. I don't get it.
Number five loses to number fifteen a hundred percent of the time. It's to pick sashes. I just don't. That just doesn't make sense though. Like, how do you how do you run? That team is so best of one. I I just don't get it. Nate, thank you for the follow eleven minutes ago. I totally missed that. I think. Nineteen. Oh my God. We're never gonna get it now. We're gonna be streaming for like eight hours. I know I'm getting I'm getting schmixed by some twelve year olds with their best of one teams. And then and then they go and tell all their friends that they beat Ashton Cox and that it's a huge achievement, you know? Like I've lost you guys don't you will never understand, and this is not even like a haha, -ha, you know, you'll never understand. You will never understand how when people beat you and you're a known player, they'll they'll go and tell all their friends and it just hurts so much more. What up that's a thing for the raid 114! That's pretty crazy. Thank you for the thank you for the raid host, all that good stuff. How'd it go? Did you hit Master Ball? How, are you number one? Are you the guy that was blocking me? I lost and I went down 14 spots. I've been number 5 10. I've been number 5 twice. I went number 5, 5 15, 5 19. I've had four games in Master Ball and it's been just unfortunate uh, once we've gotten here. But thank you for the, thank you for the read. Not the 22. I feel that, yeah. Can't believe. Waddles, thank you for the follow. Pretty cool, pretty cool name. We, we we couldn't find a trainer for a while as well. That was an issue we were encountering. I hung something on my wall because we were so bored. But yeah, that was a little thing I was talking about before you got here. Um, We were talking about how this dude last game, I got super best of one cheese last game. Uh, dude had a shadow sneak dust clops with no weakness policy user. Um, and the moment that, like the moment they beat you, like especially when it's a best of one win, they tell all their friends, they let, it, they let the world know it. And it just, it hurts more, you know, it just sucks. Obviously, you can be happy you beat us, you know, but especially if you cheese or, like, get lucky, it's the worst when someone hacks you, and then they're like, by the way, I beat, I beat Ashton. And yeah, I'm just like, don't, why would you, it doesn't even, no one cares. Like, everyone cares, but why? Like, you got lucky. So, just a little, little side rant. BC0, uh, BKR, Ninjas, thank you for the follows. Best one means nothing, I know. Ken's, we were ranked 5, dang it, we were better than this. We've been ranked 5 twice. I'm waking my roommates up. I use Ditto. Yeah, we were talking about Ditto. Um, what do you think it does in this format? Because I honestly, I was saying how I think it's better in a non-Dynamax format. Like, really good. Um, but I haven't really understood exactly why you'd want... Is it to, like, copy people's boosts? Like, post-Dynamax? Because that's what I was thinking. Ditto Blade here with the follow. What's going on? We're just never going to find an opponent. We're stuck in 19. We're stuck at 19 forever. Oh, baby Salamence. Not sure if you're calling Salamence a baby or if you're excited to see it. Could be either. Playing Viking, thank you for the fall. But yeah, my special thing is Umbreon today. We're using Umbreon. If you guys just got here with the raid, one, thank you for stopping by. Two, we're using Umbreon all day, all day. We're trying to hit number one. I'm going to stream for like four hours, and if I don't hit number one by then, we'll probably stop. Um, but I'm trying for like two, for, you know, an hour and a half more, so... Best one player is going to have a rude awakening. Oh, I know. I know. I'm ready for it. I'm super ready for it. Ready to watch all the sun teams and hard trick room teams? Listen, we fought. We already fought. I think we fought trick room on like, oh gosh, we've played 11 games. We fought trick room on maybe like eight out of eight out of 11. Still no, still no opponents. Neve, thank you for the follow. I'm, I'm such a best of three player, I will sacrifice game one to discern all of your cheese and win cons. And then I'll just stomp you games two and three. And like, that's how I play. So game one, I'm really good at finding the stupid stuff. If you couldn't tell by how I'll call it half the time, and then get smashed by it because I didn't account for it. I'm just, ooh, number two. That would be some good points if we win. They don't have Trick Room. I've seen this team on ladder though. Grimmsnarl, Rilla, Heatran, Urshifu. Landers Zapdos. Interesting, interesting. Umbreon's pretty cool against Zap. Build around Kabuto. Oh, Kabuto's pretty cool. Rock Water. I like it. Why not Dreadnought? I'm not a hater of cool Pokemon, but why not Dreadnought? Seems like it's pretty cool. I fought this guy. Info, info, info. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? They don't have terrain. Well, they don't have they don't have terrain to stop Amoongus. Like Amoongus is really good here. Amoongus is really good. Um. I'm loving Amoongus, 100%. It's full incense Grimmsnarl with Trick, I'm assuming. 
This just got tricked there. Uh, Coco, Umbreon. I like Umbreon a lot. Yeah, that's huge info. I think what I'm going to do is Meta, Amoongus, Urshifu, Umbreon. I see it's pretty good to me. Rill is going to be an issue, but I feel like they definitely bring Heatran, so I need Urshifu. And they definitely bring Zapdos, and Umbreon's good against Zapdos. It's Utility Umbrella Lando. Now we're just capping out here, okay? We're just capping. I get it, I get it. Uh, we're going to go with it. We're going to run it. Mens is actually surprisingly good against all of their Pokemon, except Grimmsnarl. Uh, but I don't feel like it's going to be... Fake Tears, Life Orb, Zap. Okay, okay. The Fake Tears with the with the, uh, with the the Zap makes sense. Nice Iron Ball, Zapdos. Listen, I get it. You're tired of real information. You're tired of... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're tired of winning out here. He goes Grim Heatran. Do we know if the Grim has uh, Taunt? Do we know if the Grim has Taunt? That That's the big thing. That's the huge, ginormous thing. If, if it has Taunt, he's the only guy that cheese me. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. It doesn't! Ah! I'm assuming it's Trick Fake Tier Screens, right? Trick Fake Tier Screens would make sense. Because I, I always quake. No, I don't quake. I don't quake. I never quake the Heatran. I quake that thing. And I spore that thing. Because, like, the... The Heatran's gotta be going to one of their ground immunities. There's no way. So that's a ground immunity, right? Or or Rillaboom. That, that one doesn't make too much sense. But sure, sure. For live reaction, I'm telling you here, I got Gene. Wait, when? What, Iron Ball Zapdos? It's a joke. It's definitely not Iron Ball Zapdos. It's definitely Life Orb. Reflect Trick, Fake Tear, Spirit Break. Gotcha, gotcha. I should have I should have gone for uh, Spore under the Grim, I guess. Don't you do it? No, I'm, I'm kidding, dude. I, I don't I don't know. I'm not too envious. I got Barbara. I, I never need Gene. I never I never really need Gene. That's pretty cool. I'm happy you got a, a different healer now if you didn't like Barbara. Because you had Child, so you didn't really need, you didn't really need Barbara anymore. Alright, so we get the Spadef boost, we get the Special Defense boost, that's cool. That's nice. Um, that's definitely in Steel Spike range, so I'm kind of inclined, okay. Two Waters was rough, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm kind of inclined here to switch my Amoongus out. I want to... Oh, but they, maybe they trick my Metagross here? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Steel Spike and Rage Powder. Now, when they fake out my Amoongus and Trick, I'm going to be shocked. But I I think I think a Trick is going to come out into my Metagross here. So I don't want to lose my weakness policy. This makes sense, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Because my item on Amoongus doesn't matter. My item on Amoongus does not matter. He's gonna U-turn. Okay, he U-turned to Moongus anyways. There was no there was no redirecting there, obviously. Win, I hope so, dude. I hope so. I have to avenge you. I must avenge you. Okay, okay. I'm number 21. Not bad, not bad. They do have her Shifu though, which is kinda sad, but we do get the defense boost. We're gonna knock out Grim and get a defense boost, which means. Rillaboom's not threatening, which means they probably go Heatran. They probably go Heatran. And I've got Urshifu in the back. I've got Urshifu and Umbreon. If I get rid of Urshifu on their end, we're in a good spot. Oh my gosh, use my Ditto to copy his Grim and trick my Scarf onto a Mon that he tricked the full Incense to. That is crazy. That is such a you play though, you know? I'm sure you know that. That is such a you play. I love that. We're gonna Quake. We're gonna Quake Heatran. Uh, I think... No, that's stupid. We're gonna, we're gonna Steel Spike. We're gonna Steel Spike Rage Powder. That is such a you play though, that's so funny. Yeah, let's go with that. What full incense do? That's a great question. I mean, uh, th the honest answer is it just lowers speed. Um, yeah, I don't know why they'd have it, uh, honestly. Uh, like, instead of lagging tail. It's the same idea. 
You do it because you want to have me have less speed. That's the idea. They want me to have less speed there. Raichu Ente Primarina. My loss was due to my Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, that's that's upsetting. I get that, though. I get that. It's a good start to the season, I will say. So now, they're wicked blowing. That's probably going to knock me out. Okay. Knocks me out. Now, I have a plus one special defense. So I shouldn't really die to this, right? Oh, he steals spikes. Great play. Wow. Really good play, actually. Crazy good play. Pretty cool, Heatran. But I do have your worst nightmare. Urshifu. Doesn't it decrease speed where lagging tail makes it minus one priority? Uh, I don't actually know. Wouldn't know. There's a guy that caught a regional with uh, lagging tail... Uh, or no, Iron Ball Lipard. That guy probably knew all the speed mechanics about all those moves. Or items, I mean. Crystal Hive being so cold and snowing right now. It's not snow where I live, baby. I'm safe. Not snowing here. N.W. Morrison, thank you for the follow. Yeah, no snow here yet, so I'll take that. Uh, we go Urshifu for sure. Urshifu for sure. Whew. That is a weird sentence. Urshifu for sure. Urshifu for sure. <laughs> Snowing in Georgia. Snowing in the weirdest places right now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Are there two turns of grass? If there's two turns of grassy terrain, that's really... Ooh, that's really good. So what I think we do is we protect U-turn the Urshifu. That's perfect. Because that'll mean we stall out his terrain effectively. This is going to be really big brain. Weeble Wobs, what's going on, bro? Thanks for the follow. Alright, alright. So, maybe if they have, like, max overgrowth or something stupid. We'll, we, you know, we got out of a bad situation here. Hopefully. Alright. <sighs> we go Umbreon, obviously. Now, Umbreon's going to be in a good spot versus this Heatran. I am hoping, however, that they did max flare my Metagross to give me policy. That'd be cool. I would much appreciate that. Please go into Metagross, not the Umbreon. Why did it go in the Umbreon? I was a water type! There was a water or Shifu there! How do you do that? Whatever. That was a water or Shifu! I wasn't even like a regular or Shifu or something. That was a water or Shifu. I mean, here, we got good news and bad news. What do you want first? We got, we got good news and we got bad news. Good news is we got... Oh, okay, bad news first, bad news. Okay, so bad news is that I don't have a great way to hit both of their Pokemon. Like, I can I can close combat, I guess, but close combat needs the knockout here. The good news is we have an inner focus Umbreon, so they cannot fake me out. So I get a free foul play on the Rillaboom, unless they've got superpower. But if they've got superpower, they should go down to banded close combat, right? You're, you're picking up what I'm putting down? Woodhammer. That might knock out as well. Ah... Ah, ah, ah. Is that enough? Oh, no, they got to reflect up. No, they've got to reflect up. They were roommates. Oh, my God. That's so bad. Uh-oh. That's terrible, actually. That's not good. That was very not bad. I'm tired, and I think I'm going to sleep out of this match. I'm so sorry. I'm trying. I really am. I'm really trying. We go or Shifu. Okay. Nellen Melon, thank you for the follow. Uh, I have to hope that close combat KOs Rilla, otherwise I just do not win. I just don't win. That was That's my favorite Vine quote, too. Please don't have Reflect up. <gasps> the Reflect's gone! The Reflect is gone because he's a bad item. He's a bad item, which means the Reflect is gone, which means, according to my calculations, we should win this game. Unless they've got Solar Beam Heatran. Banded close combat Oko's Heatran, right guys? I'm not I'm not getting schmixed here and it's just gonna live or something with plus one defense. There's no way, right? Whew, that's a little too close for comfort. Okay guys, it all comes down to this. Can close combat one hit KO Heatran? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm choice banded. Okay, I'm choice banded. They are plus one defense. Please, please, for that's a Believe it, not even for me. 
Yes! Yes! Let's go! Taking down the number two player. Get that garbage out of here. Oh, that feels so good. That is a that is a real pop-off, guys. That is a very real pop-off. I am I am living. That was so good. Alright. Taking down number two. We are nine and three right now. Oh, that is so good. Let's go. What if we beat number two, so we're gonna be up really high now. Raz Oak Dory, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. That is so good. Which was more banded CC or banded crit surging strikes? I, I believe that it's it's banded CC, um, but Surging Strikes being able to crit makes it more versatile and better in a lot of situations. In that situation, they had Sun Up, and also I needed to KO a Rillaboom, uh, so that didn't really that was not the right move. That's my number. This is this is it. I'm destined to be stuck at number five. <laughs>